Hi, I'm Xavier Kelly. And I'm Trey Smith. And you're watching Panther News. Don't forget, today is the last day to buy a prom ticket for $50. Next week, the price will be $65. Prom tickets can be purchased in Miss Walker's room, number 712, before and after school, and during lunch. Today is the deadline to register for the dodgeball tournament. Forms and team money need to be turned into Miss Seago in her room, number 814. Also, your packet for next fall's dual credit classes is due today. Here's Joseph with more information. Thanks, guys. I'm here at Mr. Moore with more information about the dual credit classes. Okay, dual credit deadline um, <sighs> lines actually are coming up quickly. By Friday, April 28th, we would like all students to make sure they've come in, uh, received the packets they need appropriate. Um, if you're a first-time student, you have to fill out a complete packet. If you're a returnee, there's a single page that must be completed and turned back in by April 28th to all counselors. Now, that will include, of course, going online to Apply Texas and receiving information, information number. So there is that part to do. Um, after that, we will um, confirm tests, qualifying standards. Uh, those that still have to test will have up till July 1st in, uh, to test and get done. And then the billing will take place by Navarro sometime in July. And you know, there's an expectation of being paid up by the first week of August. Oh, and we will send transcripts for all students for dual credit, too. So that's not something for anyone to worry about. Um, and we'll send testing confirmation if it is there also. So next Friday, April 28th, July 1st, and then roughly the first week of August is when all the dual credit should be taken care of. Thanks, Mr. Moore. Back to you guys. Community service stragglers, Ms. Holt needs a total of 8 to 10 student volunteers for next Thursday evening from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. at the Midlothian Conference Center. You will be serving at the Teacher of the Year Banquet and can receive community service hours. The event will be a semi-formal event, so dress your Sunday best. Please see Ms. Holt if you are interested. Remember that tomorrow is the 7th Annual Kids Fishing Derby at Midlothian Community Park. Bring your smaller siblings and enjoy the day. President Trump said there's a good chance the U.S. might have a major conflict with North Korea as tensions remain high over its nuke program. Congress is, is expected to vote next week on a bill to authorize new sanctions against North Korea. The Pope travels to Egypt today to meet with the country's president and to give comfort to a Coptic Christian community that is still reeling from a pair of Palm Sunday terrorist bombings that killed 45 people. He will also meet with Muslim leaders. Scientists have determined the source of Antarctica's gruesome blood falls. A new study confirms that the glacier has a hidden lake underneath it and the coloring is caused by oxidized iron. Now it's time for Fun Fact Friday. Most American car horns honk in the key of F. The name Wendy was made up for the book Peter Pan. Barbie's full name is Barbara Millicent Roberts. Every time you lick a stamp, you consume one-tenth of a calorie. The average person falls asleep in seven minutes. Your stomach has to produce a new layer of mucus every two weeks, otherwise it will digest itself. The Citrus Soda 7-Up was created in 1929. Seven was selected after the original seven-ounce containers and up for the direction of the bubbles. 101 Dalmatians, Peter Pan, Lady and the Tramp, and Mulan are the only Disney cartoons where both parents are present and don't die throughout the movie. Stewardesses is the longest word that is typed with only the left hand. To escape the grip of a crocodile's jaw, push your thumbs into its eyeballs. It will let you go instantly. Reindeer like to eat bananas. No word in the English language rhymes with month, orange, silver, or purple. Mel Blanc, the voice of Bugs Bunny, was allergic to carrots. The electric chair was invented by a dentist. The very first bomb dropped by the Allies on Berlin during World War II killed the only elephant in the Berlin Zoo. More people are killed annually by donkeys than airplane crashes. A jiffy is a unit of time for one one hundredth of a second. Because of the rotation of the Earth, an object can be thrown farther if it is thrown west. And now time for the question of the day. 
The oldest fossils found on Earth are how old? A, 4 billion years old, B, 4.2 billion years old, C, 3.8 billion years old, or D, 3.6 billion years old. And now time for the trivia question. How tall is Michael Jordan? A, 4'8", B, 6'11", C, 7 foot, or D, 6'6". And now to Chris with sports. Thanks, Trace. The Lady Panthers softball team opened up playoffs with a 13-6 victory over Burleson in Game 1. Tatum Swirls went 3-for-3 three three with three RBIs, and Georgia Capel went 4-for-5 four with two three-run three run shots. Game 2 will be at Burleson today at 5 p.m. with a possible third game following. Varsity Baseball is playing the last home game of regular season. The game will be at Lancaster High School, so come out and support your Panthers. The game time was moved up to 5 p.m. in case of rain. Avi Bulai will participate in the field competition while distance runners Kyla Finstead and Bailey Belk are in the track for regional track meet. Good luck to them all. The Cowboys picked Michigan defensive end Taco Charlton in the first round of the NFL draft last night. And the Rangers host the Angels for a weekend series beginning tonight. That's all for sports. Back to you. And the answer to the question of the day is C, 3.8 billion years ago. And the answer to the trivia question is D, 6-6. Six, six. That's all for Panther News today. Thanks for watching. And remember to go to and go Panthers. Panthers.